hey, hey. This is your girl, No Longer Bound. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my live stream. This is Wednesday, and we are here for Changing My Attitude Wednesday. And today, we're talking about the importance of choosing your friends wisely. Choosing your friends wisely. So, let's go to our textbook, Attitude is Everything. Our author is Jeff Keller, and we're going to be on page 92. And we're starting right at the heading where it literally says, Choose your friends wisely. Okay, and just in case you're new here, this is your girl, No Longer Bound. Uh, that's Esther, No Longer Bound, aka Queen C. And you can subscribe, like, and share. Just hit that little button down right there in the right hand corner that has my picture on it. And go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and become a part of the No Longer Bound family. No Longer Bound by what? No longer bound by doubt, fear, unbelief. No longer doubt by, no longer bound by anything that can have you negatively, just affect you negatively. You know, bound by negative friends, negative people, or just thoughts in your mind. Um, just no longer bound. You are free and free indeed. So let's get this ball started. All right, here we go. Choose your friends wisely. Choose your friends wisely. Okay, so I'm going to bring the music down a little bit and we'll leave it playing in the background a little bit here. Choose your friends wisely. The author says, as I said at the beginning of this lesson, Tell me, <laughs> tell me who you hang out with, and I'll tell you who you are. Tell me who you hang out with, and I'll tell you who you are. He says, if you're serious about getting a raise or a promotion at work, succeeding in your own business, or improving yourself as a human being, then you have to start associating with people who can take you to the next level. And that is true. That is critical. It matters so much who you hang around with. Even the Bible talks about you being careful, watching the company that you keep. It is so. Okay. That's a, it is so. It's from my bishop. <laughs> I, I coined that from him. He, he coined that and I copied it from him. Okay. Here we go. It says, as you increase your associations, your associations with nourishing people, you will feel better about yourself and have renewed energy to achieve your goals. He said, you will become a positive, upbeat person, the kind of person others love to be around. Wouldn't you like to be somebody like that? Wouldn't you like to be somebody that they go, oh yeah, we want you here. In the, in, in the days of old when I was younger, or what we will say in the world, I was not walking with the Lord. I was like, oh, you're the life of the party. You are the life of the party. Well, you still can be the life of the party. You might not be out doing things that you did before, but you still can be the life of the party. You still can have joy. You still can be uplifting. You still can bring a positive spirit with you wherever you go. Why? Because it will be a part of you. Okay, it says that you will become a more positive, upbeat person. The kind of person others love to be around. I used to think it was important to associate with positive people and to limit involvement with negative people. Now I believe it's essential if you want to be a high achiever and a happy individual. Guys, you got to surround yourself with some, with some people that have some positive energy. I'm telling you, it makes a difference. It says nourishing people, that they'll lift you up the ladder of success. Guys, that's all I got to say to you today. Choose your friends wisely. 
Choose your friends wisely. Choose earth-nourishing, uplifting people. Yes, thank you. Thank you for coming in. I see all, all the nail. Yeah, listen, leave a comment, guys. Come on in and leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this. I know that you have something to say about choosing your associates. It tells who you hang around with. You ever see, okay, okay, we were done, but I, I just had a thought. My parents, my mother, and my grandparents, and all they used to say, watch your friends, watch your friends, watch your friends. Be careful about your friends. They will say that because a lot of times, I might not be doing what it is that my friends are doing, but because I'm hanging with my friends, I'll be thrown into the same bunch or the same group. Or people will see and it will look like, well, I don't know, but you know what? She hangs around with so-and-so. Or he hangs around with so-and-so. And I know so-and-so. So if they're hanging around with them, I'm probably not gonna be, that's not a good deal. But oh, I know this guy. He hangs around with this person. Those are good people. Every time I see him, he's with, she's with this person, or he's with that person. Those are good people. She's got to be a good person because I know who to hang around with. Choose your friends wisely today. I pray that this will be a blessing to you in some way. I pray that it will cause you to think. And I pray that you will also share this with your children. You will say to them the importance of choosing their friends. Now, what am I saying? Are you supposed to be prejudiced? <laughs> you know, we, you know, the enemy can take something and take it way over left field. Well, what you're you saying that I'm supposed to not like someone? So are you saying that I'm supposed to be prejudiced? Are you saying I'm supposed to be respect of persons? Are you saying no, 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 no? I'm saying that you need to find someone that is going in the direction that you're going in. So if you are planning to graduate from college, you need to find someone that has a mindset of wanting to do something similar to the same thing. If you are planning to have a career in this or whatever you're heading in, find somebody that's going in your direction. Why is that? Let's say you want to go to college. You don't have to, but you want to. But the people you hang around will say, oh no, there's no need in going to this, don't do that. I'm not gonna have anything to do with that. I'm just, I'm not even, I don't wanna read, I don't wanna study, I don't wanna have get a good job, I don't wanna do anything. I'm just gonna hang out on the corner, I'm just gonna just chill, I'm just gonna chill my life away. Uh, somebody else is gonna take care of me. I'm just gonna be dependent on other people. I don't know what you're, that will not, support your idea you'll be going one direction they'll be going another direction it'll be like you'll be pulling against each other but if you find someone that can go in the same direction you're going in toward your goal maybe not the same identical one but they are both heading in that direction you're saying well i'm going to school you're going to school a friend of mine and i did that in college we were determined that we were not going to fail a particular class we said to ourselves that she was majoring in something different than I was. But I said, you know what? Well, I will not fail this class. And we purpose in our heart. We put our heads together and we work toward the goal of passing that class, which was a difficult class, but we did it because we were going in the same direction. Now, I respected her and she influenced me a lot and I think I did her. So if she'd have said, no, I think I don't, you know, whatever, it's something. it might have caused me to do the same thing. But we both agree in the Bible saying, how can two walk together except they agree? When you agree, when you're in unity, you can accomplish things for the good as well as the bad, but we're talking about the good. So what I'm saying is stay focused, choose your friends wisely. You want to be better? Find someone that's better at what you're doing and hang with them and you'll become better. You will, you will find someone because they'll make you stretch. They'll make you grow. They'll make you reach for an area that you had never reached before. Yes, listen, this is your girl no longer about. Thank you for coming in. 
I had a uh, live streamer come in. Thank you for showing up. I appreciate you. We will see you here next time. Like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day.